Australia, located between the Pacific and Indian Oceans, is the world's largest island as well as its smallest continent. There is plenty of room to move in Australia, and with so many attractions to see and appreciate, there's no reason not to go on a walkabout trip. Whether exploring the traditional culture of the country's Aboriginal people, resting on a sun-kissed beach, or partying the night away in a major hotspot, Australia has something unique to offer every tourist. With wonderful national parks scattered around the country and several fantastic islands. Hello everyone, and welcome to a brand new video on the channel. Today we are going to talk about the top 10 places to visit in Australia. Before we get started with the video, don't forget to smash the like button, share the video, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get started. Number 10. Kakadu National Park When it comes to wilderness areas, Kakadu National Park represents the best of Australia. It is the world's second largest national park, covering more than 19,840 square kilometers in the Northern Territory. Within its limits, you can discover monsoon rainforests, mangrove swamps, rivers, gorges, old rock paintings, marshes, and waterfalls. Kakadu is also home to an incredible variety of species. In addition to the many mammals, reptiles, and fish, the wetlands are home to over 300 bird species, as well as freshwater and saltwater crocodiles. To explore the park's different ecosystems, take a sail along the canals or stroll the extensive network of paths. You might perhaps take a scenic flight. Visiting Kakadu National Park from Darwin is straightforward during the dry season. It is about a three-hour journey from the Northern Territory's capital. During the wet season, November-April, many roads and attractions are closed owing to excessive flooding, but waterfalls and wetlands are at their best. Number 9. Gold Coast the Gold Coast, located just south of Brisbane on Queensland's southeastern coastline, enjoys mild temperatures and sunny sky throughout the year. The seaside city is one of the most popular holiday destinations in the country. Thanks to its vibrant yet relaxed atmosphere and seductive sun, sea, and surf, most folks flock to surfer's paradise. The capital of the Gold Coast is home to big retail malls and thumping nightclubs, as well as numerous restaurants, pubs, and lodging alternatives. Glittering high rises soar over the vast beach, which is ideal for sunbathing, swimming, and water sports. While the Gold Coast is generally referred to be a garish tourist trap, it has a lot going for it, including magnificent beaches and breathtaking sunsets. Furthermore, it has exciting amusement parks, water parks, and wildlife reserves, as well as world-class surf breaks. Number 8. Perth Perth is frequently ranked as one of the world's most livable cities, with a refreshing, easygoing attitude complemented with elegant boutiques, stunning art galleries, stylish museums, and an eternally satisfying pace free of the demands of other fast-paced Australian cities. It's ideal for exploring during a senior Australia visit. Perth epitomizes Australia's solitude while still being showered in golden sunlight and abundant natural beauty. Purely beaches give way to sailing adventures, fishing outings, and boating journeys, while open vistas provide panoramic views of the nearby bushland. Number 7. Tasmania Tasmania is one of Australia's most diversified places, capable of thrilling all of your senses. It has a bustling festival scene, a world-class art gallery, and an unspoiled environment that nature lovers admire. You can sample whiskey at Lark Distillery, Australia's first carbon-neutral distillery on Hobart's waterfront, eat freshly shucked oysters on Bruni Island, or dine at restaurants like Stillwater in Launceston, a UNESCO city of gastronomy, one of only about 50 cities worldwide to receive this honor. The Controversial Mona Museum of Old and New Paintings, Houses Bizarre and Fantastic Paintings, Dark Mofo and Mona Foma. Two prominent winter and summer festivals include worldwide music. You can feel the ground beneath your feet when exploring one of the state's hiking routes, and you can breathe the fresh sea air while taking a boat excursion around some of the world's highest sea cliffs. Number 6. Great Ocean Road You certainly heard of the Great Ocean Road which is often regarded as one of the best road journeys in the world. We spent two weeks driving the GOR, and it met our expectations. If I could give you one piece of advice, don't rush it. 
Don't drive it in one day like the tour buses. Instead, slow down and give it the time it deserves. The picturesque drive was constructed in 1932 by soldiers returning from World War I. It was created in honor of those who lost their lives. It begins in Torquay and ends at Alansford. Many people spend a few days driving the ocean road, stopping in some of the tiny communities along the way. Number 5. Darwin. Darwin is pleasantly tropical, eternally attractive, and sits atop Australia's top end on terrain traditionally associated with the Larakia indigenous people. The city offers a vibrant cultural diversity that is closer to Asia's doorstep than Sydney's seashore, providing access to the iconic outback, with certain months being the best times to visit. Life is largely spent outdoors. Alfresca restaurants, rich botanic gardens, a busy waterfront, and a melting pot of cultures create a sizzling international ambience while providing access to exceptional animal encounters. Number 4. Melbourne. I could live in Melbourne, and I'm not the only one, as it constantly rates among the most livable cities in the world. I just don't know whether I could deal with the four seasons in one day weather pattern. Anyhow, Melbourne is a fantastic city to visit. If you're a sports fan like me, there's the Australian Open Tennis, the Grand Prix, the Melbourne Cup, and the AFL. For everyone else, it has an excellent culinary scene, some of the greatest coffee and cafes in the country, if not the world, smart pubs, limitless shopping, and great festivals. Number 3. Brisbane. Brisbane, a famous tourist destination, is a vibrant, dynamic city that enjoys wonderful weather all year. It has a population of approximately 2 million, making it Australia's third largest city after Sydney and Melbourne. Located in the Sunshine State, many people stop here on their route to the great resorts and beaches to the north and south. Sat along the Brisbane River, the city's wonderful environment makes outdoor sports particularly popular. You may choose from a wide range of options, including bicycling, climbing, and hiking. A lively and welcoming city, Number 2. Uluru. Visiting Uluru in Australia's Red Centre is an unforgettable experience. Uluru, dubbed the spiritual heart of Australia, is one of those locations you simply must see and experience for yourself. Don't speed through here like most people. Instead, stay and take it all in. Experience the sunset and sunrise, walk around the base, take a camel ride or a helicopter flight and visit the neighboring Uluru Kadak Juba National Park. It is home to the famed Ayers Rock and allows visitors to explore the magnificent outback landscape. If you have the time, number one, Sydney. Sydney is not just Australia's oldest and largest city, but also one of its most attractive. Land and sea merge, framing the iconic white sails of the Opera House and the arching Harbour Bridge. The fabled past takes you through narrow cobblestone lanes, museum galleries, glamorous neighborhoods with artistic districts divided by magnificent beaches, and wildlife-rich places. Sydney, surrounded by skyscrapers and suburbs, startling wildness, and a glittering coastline, is an excellent site to discover contemporary Australia during a bespoke holiday centered on a Sydney tour. That's a wrap on the video. I hope you liked it. If you did, let me know by giving it a thumbs up, and do not forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next time.